Merci beaucoup, Dana. It was a fantastic show. Oh, and you. I'm going to come close to you to oh. talk a little bit okay. about you sure. and your career. It's never easy, but keep your micro and okay. I take mine. And um, you, you're living now uh, Louisiana, New Orleans. Oui. But uh, I know that before you was in New York City. Mm -hmm. And uh, where did you begin your career? In New York or in New Orleans? Uh, New Jersey. New Jersey? Yeah, yeah. New Jersey and then Massachusetts. I lived in Massachusetts for a while. And then, um, and then New York and then New Orleans. Really, my career kind of began in New York, but yeah. And uh, your favorite music at this time was still uh, Americana, folk, uh, and what were your influences in the beginning? In the beginning, in the beginning, I was a big fan of um, uh, uh, singer songwriters like Joni Mitchell and uh, James Taylor and Carole King, and also by uh, uh, by soul music. Uh, my sister had a really big soul music collection of Stevie Wonder and the Jackson Five and Marvin Gaye and Gladys Knight, and I loved that stuff a lot. And my parents listened to a lot of Broadway musicals, so I kind of the kind of classic. You know, 50s, 60s Broadway musical soundtracks, which really had beautiful songs in them. That's very nice. Uh, it was very nice for me, too, because I was a great fan of the beat music, the 60s music. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was in New York, Bottom Line, etc., oh, uh, nice. Greenwich Village, etc. Mm -hmm. And uh, today, you make a great, me a great pleasure with a, a song I knew by Johnny Adams. And uh, oh, it okay. means uh, you... <laughs> uh, 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 soul uh, and rhythm and blues uh, oh. sangering too. <laughs> <laughs> and during another show, uh, you present jazz because you are influences and you play on scene uh, two kind of music or more. But I think Americana, some jazz and uh, uh, some blues too. You're a very very great blues singer. To the King is a great great song in, in blues. <laughs> But I remember you play a song from, uh, if I n remember, it's from Floyd Dixon, yeah. uh, who influences the first Ray Charles yeah. uh, in the beginning. Yes, yeah. And how did you uh, discover all these songs? Um, I'm, I, I, I like to find, like, I ask friends who are kind of crate diggers, you know, people who look for records. Um, I ask friends to help me and they send me songs that they think I might like, friends who know what I like. But I've been, I, you know, I, I love finding lost songs and Floyd Dixon is definitely a, a bit of a lost artist and a lost writer and he was really, really wonderful. He was, um, you know, he was a big influence on Ray Charles. Um, you can hear in Ray Charles' early songs how much he's trying to sound yes, like I Floyd know. Dixon. <laughs> I know. And, but Floyd's lost to history, and that always makes me sad. It, uh, you know what I mean? It feels, I, I, I feel, I mean, it's, uh, I feel like I want to, you know, I, I want to cover these songs because, man, Do I Love You, the song that I cover is just a beautiful song, and it never became famous. It was never a hit, and it's so good. It's such a good song. And the show is, is in France for this tour. I mm -hmm. saw you two times. It's um, a mix of jazz, blues, uh, folk. But when you play USA, uh, did you play a special uh, jazz night, blues night, or American night? No, it's, uh, it's always a mix of your favorite music, I suppose. It's one of the reasons I moved to New Orleans is because New Orleans doesn't make a whole lot of distinctions in their music. If it's, if it's based in the blues, and most American music is based in the blues, jazz is based in the blues, and folk is tied to the blues, um, uh, it's all the same. You know, your, your, your bass player will get off a Zydeco gig and then come play with you to do a jazz gig. You know, it's just, it's all the same, you know, and, and it makes it a little easier. In the rest of America and in the rest of the world, people demand these distinctions, but they, it wasn't so for a long time. For a long time, you could listen to the radio and um, Dinah Washington would be playing next to Bo Diddley, you know, and, and I think that's how it should be, <laughs> <laughs> personally. Yes, I have a paper because at this time we have uh, 1,118 uh, people online. Oh. It means, hello, <laughs> hello, uh, dear. Hi. <laughs> it's a lot for uh, Monday afternoon because oh. everybody's working. Yeah. 
but it means uh, several thousand for uh, podcast next week. Right on. And uh, talk about your career. Talk about you. Uh, you you have a golden voice, fantastic, Thank fantastic you. voice. And uh, you are a singer songwriter too. How do you write your song? Alone or uh, complicity with uh, musicians like Robert or other one? Um, I, I mostly write my songs alone, um, but they contribute to the way that it winds up singing, like the way it, oh, he's not here anymore. Hi, there you are. Um, <laughs> Robert is on the public now. <laughs> but I, I write for them. Like I write, I, I write thinking about how Robert is probably going to play. Oh, bless you. I brought you some voices. Yeah, I appreciate it's that. It's for the good cause. It's for a very good cause. <laughs> um, drunk in the afternoon, that's the good cause. And... Um, But I, I write thinking about them. Like I write thinking about how it's going to sound. And I write very much now because I've been playing with Robert so often. I hear what he's going to play. Like I, I you know, I, I hear the sort of solo he's gonna he's gonna bring and if he's going to play it on mandolin or guitar. And I, I can feel like he's there when I'm writing. And oh, did you meet Robert? Because Robert is living Memphis, Tennessee. And you're living in Louisiana. How did you meet him? Um, I met him. He was my first friend in New Orleans before I moved there. One of my first friends. He, I used to stay with him and his wife. He, um, he lived in New Orleans for a very long time until uh, Katrina chased him and his wife out and his, their little baby daughter. Um, he was there till the storm. You can tell the story. I don't know. No? You just told it. Okay, I just told I it. I don't want to <laughs> <laughs> I was just bringing you with you. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and um, we have talked about your voice, but you are a great instrument player too with guitars. And uh, uh, we influence you for playing guitars. And uh, when did you begin to play guitar? I started playing guitar when I was 13. And I learned how to play guitar from James Taylor Records because that's who I loved first. When I was a, that was the first kind of teenage crush artist I had. <laughs> and I got a James Taylor made easy for a guitar book and I listened to the records and I kind of figured out how to play his finger picking because mm -hmm. I really liked his finger picking and um and that's how I started and then I, I also had like Beatles and uh Bob Dylan made easy for guitar books as well um that's kind of what I was listening to but I don't I mean I I you know I I learned more from him than I've ever learned from any any teacher or record I just listen to him every night he's so good And and there's no such thing as a Joni Mitchell made easy. No, no, <laughs> no it doesn't exist. <laughs> it doesn't yeah, exist. Yeah, Joni Mitchell messed up my life uh, a little uh, bit because uh, I used uh, to write in like alternative tunings that were really weird, and it made every gig a nightmare. Yeah. And you, Robert, can you tell us how did you uh, uh, began to play guitar? Do you sing? Uh, uh, I think you have bands in Memphis. Maybe you play with uh, different people too. No? Oh, I've I've played with a lot of different people. That's, but I've, I've played with Klaus Nomi. I've played <laughs> with, <laughs> with the Continental Drifters, um, my wife Candace, uh, many, many people. Steve but, Wynn. But we're here to talk about yeah. Dana. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yes, we come back to uh, Dana to uh, talk about his career, or career, sorry. And uh, you got four albums, I suppose, no? Or more, no, more, I have more. 11 I, I know on eleven. Oh. I think so. It's eleven. Yeah. I, think I have work yeah. to listen to all you have done, but I know only your last fourth okay. album. But today with us we have uh, two. I'm working uh, of the last one. I knew this one because this one is more jazz, and uh, I play some numbers uh, mm -hmm. in my program Jazz on Air. Uh, And uh, it's a very, very, very good record. This I, I show to the public is yeah. called Secret Canon Volume One. Yeah. Yes, and there is a Volume Two as well. Um, and uh, yes, this is this is what I was talking about, like the Floyd Dixon song. These are l mostly lost songs. They're songs that I found through friends and through my own research of uh, of artists and songs that I thought kind of dis they they disappeared and nobody covered them or hardly anybody covered them and i i i i'm doing my part to keep them obscure that's my job <laughs> and then here volume and two and that's that one is more uh, americana no 
Uh, this one is kind of a, it's a, uh, mostly my writing, but it's, um, it's, uh, it's a live record with Robert and I. And it, this is volume two. We also have a volume one of this one. Yes. And, um, and it's, a, it's a live theater tour that we did in the Netherlands two, year, two years ago. Mm-hmm. And, um, and we recorded the whole thing. And it, it's really beautifully recorded by, um, by Randy Crafton. And tonight, we, this afternoon, we had the pleasure to discover some new songs yeah. you play for us. And yeah, yeah. many it's thanks for that. that yeah, yeah, yeah. Not on a record. Very, yet. very yeah. many thanks for that. Oh. And it's supposed that soon you are going to have a, a new album, no? Yes. I don't know when, though. <laughs> and maybe and maybe soon, uh, soon yeah. a return to Europe oh, to yes. play your your new album and Definitely. to promote the new songs. Yes, we're looking at November to come back. So ah, that's great! Back. That's yeah, great! Yeah. A real yeah. pleasure to yeah. see you again. Oh, yes, yes. yes. And uh, all to say that you are on on the road. You play, I think, uh, if I remember, Germany and uh, Netherlands. No. And Belgium. And Belgium. Yeah, and France is the end of our tour. We're going home in a couple of days. But tomorrow there is a very important date. Oh, yeah. Uh, promoted by, wow. by Philippe and Malo. Malo, he, she lives close to yes. Le Baiser Salé. Alors, yeah. nous allons dire à ce cher public français yes. qui, j'espère, nous regarde et nous entend, et que, parce qu'il y a aussi la radio, you are live on TV and radio, c'est que demain, il ne faut surtout pas manquer ce dernier show, je crois, c'est le last one, tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Ce is. dernier show français qui a lieu au, au Baiser Salé à Paris, parce que je pense que vous le, regrettiez, vous le regretterez, pardon, parce que c'est vraiment fantastique, vous l'avez vu cet après-midi, ce que fait donc euh, Dena avec euh, Robert. Alors, avant de nous quitter, je sais que euh, tu défends, you, you defend a cause for the music. I'm going to take... Uh, I'm working, uh, but it's for... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's for a good cause. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I would like to let you talk about this cause. Oh, okay. I'll I'll hold this up. Uh, This is is my Patreon address. And um, Patreon is a patronage campaign because um, Spotify and streaming services have taken a lot of income from artists, including myself. Um, we used to be able to count on CD sales in, uh, from stores that don't, that there's hardly any record stores left. And we used to count on sales from iTunes. Um, and they just kind of kept us going month to month. And that's gone. And so a lot of my fellow artists that are small, like me, are, 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 we're not able to keep this going anymore. And Patreon is a way for our fans to help, and it's really easy, and it's very, very little money. It's like if, if, if you know, people go to their website and they put in their credit card, and and one dollar per month is taken out. And that's the you know you can give more if you want, but it's one dollar per month, and so twelve dollars a year, which is like what ten euros. A year, a bottle a, of wine. A bottle of wine. A decent yeah. bottle of wine in France. A, a shitty bottle of wine in America, but a decent <laughs> bottle of wine in France. <laughs> and um, and you can and you can just sort of tip us and say, okay, we want you to keep paying your bills. And so far, it's paying four of my monthly bills. I've only been doing this for a couple of months, and and it's pretty wonderful already. So um, it helps a lot. Like it's just a little bit, and in return, we give you access. We um. You know, we have like little special videos and we give you songs before anybody else hears them. Yeah. I appreciate you taking the time for that. Thank you. Thank you to support uh, Dana, uh, his music and uh, her, her music and her songs. Uh, je pense que vous avez compris. Uh, il vous suffit d'envoyer seulement uh, un dollar ou peut-être un euro, je ne sais pas, mais un dollar. Et donc, vous aurez accès uh, minimum. Vous pouvez donner plus pour les aider la musique parce que c'est vrai. Il y a les, 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 les superstars qui gagnent beaucoup d'argent et puis il y a les autres qui ont beaucoup plus de mal à, à vivre de la musique. Et, et donc, elle vous donnera accès à son site euh, pour les vidéos, la musique, etc. Donc, euh, n'hésitez pas. Donc, euh, ce, 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 cette petite carte, elle restera en permanence dans le studio. Et euh, encore un, un grand merci. Merci, Dena. Merci, Robert. It was fantastic to welcome you at Nancy Web TV. I think a big applause for Dana <laughs> and uh, Robert. Merci beaucoup. Et merci à toi. <laughs>
<rire> Alors, je vais vous quitter en, 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 en rappelant, bien sûr, que euh, qui est important dans ce studio, bah, c'est les ingénieurs du son, c'est la lumière, c'est également euh, l'image. Donc, Piro était donc aujourd'hui à la vidéo, à l'image, on va l'applaudir. Alors, quelqu'un qui est un homme heureux, euh, euh, happy man is Alain. Alain, et, et, the sound engineering, oh, merci. is a, merci, he is, merci. He is a fan, um, St uh, Crosby, Steel Nash and Young fan, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, James Taylor, Carly Simon, oh, etc. Cool. And uh, next Sunday will be there with his band called Teach. It's a Crosby, Steel Nash and Young sound. Oh, And nice, uh, he will nice. play live. He wa Sometimes he let the sound <laughs> to play here. <laughs> 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 And most important person is Claude. Claude, because Claude is the studio is Claude Studio, Nancy oh, Web TV. Merci, Claude. And uh, studio. Claude uh, uh, will make, uh, I hope, I'm sure, a beautiful CD, Blu-ray, DVD, specially for you. And uh, he will send everything by post <laughs> to you. <laughs> And uh, don't hesitate the next time you steal the welcome. Nancy Web TV opens the studio for you at every time you want. <laughs> merci. Merci. merci, Dana. Merci, Robert. Merci. And merci à tous. <laughs> goes on The beat goes on The beat goes on